Hello friends, Kishan is here again and this is the continuation of uh, my previous video tutorial there we had started exploring about the best practices about the lambda expressions. So in previous video we have uh, looked into some sub points about the point number 5 like avoid uh, blocks of code in lambdas. So this already we have seen 5.1, we have seen also 5.2 and 5.3 also we have seen and we now we are going to explore 5.4 so 5.4 saying that braces and return statements are optional in one line lambda bodies this means that they can be omitted or omitted for clarity and conciseness so uh, if uh, your lambda expression returns a string right so we don't need to specify a curly bracket open close and return statement right so let me uh, explain you here actually this is the example we have seen in our previous example so here we have written a functional interface right we here we, uh, we could have given a, a return statement and we can could have a specify curly bracket open close right and here you can specify a return statement right return so we could have written like this right and still this will work perfectly fine right so but if you write a lambda expression for any functional interfaces then lambda expression function is a lamb, uh, functional interface right uh, functional uh, interface and this interface uh, knows what's the input type and what's the output type right so output is nothing but that is string right so in this case you don't need to and this is the single line of lambda expressions in that case you don't need to specify right this code runs perfectly fine right but uh, still you can remove some of the unnecessary things like curly bracket open close you can remove and even you don't need to specify this return statement as well right and this code will work perfectly fine so that's the thing i wanted to convey in this point right so i hope you understood this point as well now next point use method references so lambda expression just call method to be methods which are already implemented elsewhere in this situation it is very useful to use another java 8 feature that is called method references so lambda expression suppose if you write a lambda expression like <clears throat> you have a input parameter a and you input parameter you convert into a lowercase and it turns to the call right could be substitu substituted by like this right this this is not always shorter but it makes the code more readable that's the benefit this looks more readable right so let me explain you through this an example like uh, let's define a functional interface again uh, sorry so copy this fish this line of code and i would say function one and uh, what this is saying uh you take the input parameter and convert into uh let's say i'm going to convert into uppercase instead of lower right and if i call function one as a method is called apply right and you pass some name like son and if you look into the output of so say result and this result you can print and see what is the result value so result would be the shown itself in capital letter right so if i can show you so saying that shown in capital right so here instead of writing this lambda expressions directly we can use meta references right so so i'm going to comment this line of code and i would write i'm going to rewrite this line of code here we can make use of the meta references right so a string has a method is called to uppercase so st double column and you can set to uppercase right and when you specify meta references then you don't need to specify the parenthesis now this code will work perfectly fine let's save it and if i run it then this works perfectly fine right so i hope you understood 5.5 now let's move to the last point and that is called use effectively final variables 
saying that accessing a non-final variable inside a lambda expression will cause the compiler compile time error. But it does not mean that you should mark every target variable as final, right? According to the effectively final concept, the compiler treats every variable as final as long as it assigned only once. It is the safe to use such variables inside the lambda because compiler will control their state and trigger a compile time error immediately after any attempt to change them. For example, the following code will not compile. So here we have a method. Right inside the method, we have declared local variable with local value. Now we have defined a lambda expression for foo. That is foo is a functional interface. And here what we are trying to do, we we have a, a string local variable and in this local variable which is declared over here inside the method just we are trying to assign this parameter so this line of code will not be compiled right this uh, because this is method uh, local variable is final you are trying to assign some other value so this will throw an error so this line will not be compiled the compiler will inform that variable local variable is already defined in the scope right and this approach should simplify the process of making lambda uh, lambda execution thread safe right this makes the lambda execution uh, thread safe that's the advantage of this so let's try to understand these things through an example so what i'll do so again i'm going to make use of the functional interface and function interface let's make use of the uh, function interface itself right or we can define a let's define a function function interface itself so i would say function right a string and result will be a string itself right now say f2 equal to this text one input parameter right so <clears throat> suppose this takes only one input parameter so let's say uh, let's lambda expression and with more than one statement so that's why we have an open and close parenthesis right and or we what we can do let's uh, create a separate method right so i would say method name like uh, method itself method uh, one method itself right let's call a method and this method i'm going to call by instance of this class so i would say new test All right so let's create this method All right in this method what i'm going to call function function and this would be a string is the input and a string is the output itself i would say fun equal to is and i'm going to define a lambda expression with more than one statement that's why we have a open and close parenthesis right and here inside the method i'm going to define a local variable so i would say sorry local variable equal to i would say local right and here what i'm trying to do again i'm going to try what i will try to do local variable equal to i'm trying to assign this parameter right so this guy is throwing an error right saying that lambda expression local where local variable cannot uh, redeclare another local variable defined in the enclosing scope right and if i try to return local variable itself then this is going the compiler once i comment this code this will compile successfully that's the point i wanted to convey you and here we can call this one one method let's say you can call apply on this and you can pass any name like kk and this will return you the result result and let's print this result so just 
I am passing KK and this will print the same thing, same result KK itself. So if I run it, so this is printing local variable, right? Instead of here, uh, oh sorry, here passing anything does not make any sense, right? Or uh, if you return S itself, then this will print KK, right? right then this will print pak but i was uh, returning this local variable right and this local variable has a value is called local so in this case this will return you the local itself right so basically here uh, i mean wh what the main point i wanted to convey because uh, if you have a one local variable this is a local variable which is declared inside the method and this local variable if you want to reassign with some other variable so this will not allow you that even though if you do not specify final key over here is still compiler treats internally this as a final variable you cannot reassign some other value to this value inside the lambda expression that's the main point i want to convey you right so even though we haven't explicitly assigned final keyword over here is still this uh, variable within the lambda expression will be treated as a final variable that's the key point i wanted to convey you so i hope you enjoyed learning this video and thanks for watching this video uh, this source code i'm going to upload on the uh, github and github location i will specify in the i mean video description section so you can download and run on your local machine thanks for watching this video and see you next video